Hello and welcome to our Reduce the Chaos webinar, Redman's first ever live event on solving your most common warehouse challenges. I'm, my name is Mark and I have an exciting program for you today as I will be your host. First, starting with some insights from one of our most experienced Redman users, followed by me presenting some of these exciting features that we then just talked about, also including a live presentation of, for example, RFID scanning, and at last, you will hear about all the new exciting features coming up in the following year. So stay tuned until the very end. As always, feel free to make use of the Q&A function in Zoom, where you can ask any questions that you might have in the meantime. Now, on to my guest for today, which is Mitch from Luxonos. Welcome, Mark. Hi. Hi, thank you for joining. Yeah. Um, you will be highlighting some of the main frustrations we often hear from warehouses, from warehouse managers, and how you use Rentman to solve these issues. Now, on to our questions. First of all, maybe you can tell the audience a little bit about who you are and uh, what you're doing inside Luxonos, your company. Yeah, so Luxonos is an audiovisual company. Uh, we rent out lights and sound equipment um, for every, all sorts of events. Um, I started this with uh, Anko. Uh, we are now with 40 people, uh, maybe 13 years ago, um, and it was like most of us do this. Uh, we start up in school, maybe as a sort of DJ, uh, doing uh, small parties, and it's, uh, uh, yeah, sort of gets bigger and bigger. And uh, I needed to do like a study, so I chose medicine. Uh, and after the, the study, I decided to go further with my, uh, yeah, what I enjoyed most, and that's doing this business. So uh, yeah, that's how it went. Right, yeah. interesting. Um, now, you've been using Rentman for almost a decade yeah. and during that time, you've been providing us with a lot of feedback on what can be done better and how things can be improved to solve a lot of the challenges that you have been going through. Now, on to my question. Um, since you've got started, with, why, why do you get started with Rentman in the first place? What brought you to us and how have you been using it so far? Yeah, so uh, yeah, that, that the whole time ago when Rentman started, it was already showing like uh, the new kit on the block, uh, sort of the, the Apple with a uh, more user-friendly experience. And uh, yeah, we, we liked that idea of being the future and going with them to, yeah. And it worked out great for us. So that's how it started, yeah. So you could say it's really the, the easy to workflows and also part of it is really the design of it, right? Which yeah. was user-friendly right from the beginning. Exactly. And we've tried to improve upon it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was really the mindset, like really how, how Maybe Apple also does it. It just works, yeah, you could exactly. say. Right. Yeah. Interesting. Um, now, outside of Rentman, what do you believe are the key processes to really manage your equipment from making sure it comes back from the location and then to effectively move it back on to the next one? Yeah, so um, how we see it is always coming. We always look at it from like when returning because that's the, the, the hardest part for us. Then we need to unprep everything and check everything. It's status of location in Rentman then. Uh, and we unseal and empty all the containers that we have in Rentman uh, and start uh, checking everything, if it's still working or not. Uh, then it's returned to return in Rentman. And from that point on, it's going back again to clients and going to the prep status and uh, then location. Uh, but don't you don't need to check it again in that right. moment. So we have a bit of a different workflow or idea about it in the in our workout workout uh yeah but that's how it works yeah right interesting yeah. and i believe you also mentioned it before you also then make use of scanning car codes for example nowadays yeah. also rfid yeah so every uh we work with around six to eight uh persons in, in the warehouse they all have a zebra uh, tc26 uh, scanner uh, and every thing is serialized with the QR code uh, and some things are with RFID already like the cables and uh, curtains um, and we scan everything uh, we put it in like the bigger container it's all done on returning the items uh, so when you need to pack it it's really fast you can just scan the, the bigger uh, flight case container and all the items that are serialized in it will be scanned uh, automatically and that's how our workflow works. Yeah. Right. Now, that sounds like the best case scenario, but outside of that, what are some common issues that you might run into or pain points that could arise in the warehouse? Yeah, so uh, people can maybe put it back in the shelf, but not return it, like in, in, in Rentman maybe, uh, or things cannot be returned, 
or they can break. Uh, so that are like the, the pain points that uh, that happen in, in, uh, with all of us, I think. Um, and Rentman really solves that also for us because when it's broken or people on location can already put it in repair and because everything is serialized, automatically the we have like a stock manager that checks our stock level and uh, he automatically gets an email at the moment that it's put in repair. He uh, checks if that's a problem for the stock coming days. And if that is, he will send a weekly email to our technical department that it needs priority for repairing. And before it's even returned, we already have it like ready to get back in our warehouse and go as fast as possible to, to the technical department. And therefore the stock levels, or you can rent out as much as possible, you have the, the least amount of downtime. And like other parts of it, like people already putting it back on the shelf, but not really checking it. Uh, when you then scan it, it pops up with a message like saying uh, it's still on a, on a different project. Um, that's a message for us that you didn't check it right. So then you can still check it. Um, so Renman helps in the different scenarios to uh, yeah, solve problems. Yeah, not just the features like in the warehouse you have itself, but also can communication aspects really, right? Yeah. Because you have the you have the notifications as you mentioned yourself. Exactly. Yeah. You have the repair module and so yeah. on and so on. Yeah, we we use like all parts of Renman, and okay. we try to. Uh, minimize the communication face to face and let Renman do its communication. Right, and uh, that that's the, the easiest and works like always, twenty four seven. It's like a computer. Right. Yeah. Now, before this webinar, we both already had a one on one conversation about how what's what's going to happen and what's so, super interesting for Renman Rent to explore in two thousand twenty four. Yeah. Now, just from your personal point of view, what do you look forward to in terms of improvements for Renman for the next year? Yeah, so uh, really, I'm looking forward to like the, the container feature. That's a new part of Renman um, where you can scan time uh, items in a container and uh, scan the container when packing. And it uh, it's, it's, um, takes a lot less time when packing items and you're, uh, yeah, it makes life more easy. Uh, another thing we uh, will uh, want to see uh, is RFID. So we already have all our new cables are with RFID and curtains also. Um, but we have like the old stock we also need to do with RFID. So we're in the transition of doing that and seeing how Redman is developing the RFID. Uh, but uh, next year that will be uh, like uh, good to, uh, yeah, to see how it's going to go. Yeah. All right, yeah, the extension upon the equipment type is definitely super interesting, yeah. especially with the different statuses, which is also something we're going to look into. Um, now, very much one last question for me is, uh, what are some main life hacks to yeah, reduce yeah. the chaos, which is really the topic of today? Yeah, so, uh, and that's, uh, that's also for more 2024, 20, uh, you have already that button in the, the warehouse module, return, scan return. Um, and that's like a bulk scanning. And if you think about it firstly, you think, you think, okay, how can I just start scanning a cables return? How will that solve something? But at this moment, when you're returning like 10 projects, you need to first open project one, return the cables, then open project two, return the cables, then three and, and so on. And sometimes you need to move back and forward between them because you find an, another cable from project one or three or four. It takes a lot of time moving between the projects. If you just use the button re, uh, return, scan return, uh, it solves it because it uh, sees which QR code it is on serial number or RFID number. RFID for example, exactly. And it checks which project it is and it books it return. And at the end of the day, when you have returned all the cables, uh, you will see what is missing and it will probably really be missing with RFID going, you can scan for the second time in, in your warehouse if you can find it, and otherwise you can build a client. Right. And it's a different idea about how you can return items instead of per project, you do it as bulk, but it's a lot faster. So that would be a sort of life hack. Uh, right, so you would, you would say it's less about the accuracy because that aspect is already covered. By exactly. QR codes, by RFID, but this is more about the speediness. Yeah. Yeah, and efficient efficiency, speed, efficiency yeah. and your fast yeah. effort. Yeah, exactly. All right, yeah. super yeah. interesting. Now, that's all from my side. Thank, Thank you. you very much for joining. Well, it was a great. pleasure. Also yeah. for taking the time, even yeah. though you're super busy. Yeah. Um, well, I'm now going to go back. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> now, um, 
I, I imagine that any of these examples that were now mentioned by Mitch can sound familiar to you, especially in the warehouse. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sh actually show you how you can conquer any of these challenges inside Rentman. I'm going to give you some different kinds of examples. For this, first of all, we're going to look at our first challenge. The first challenge is really fulfilling the whole packing slip, uh, including all of the equipment that you have planned inside a the project, then making sure everything goes smooth in the warehouse, while steadily increasing speed and accuracy, as we had just discussed with Mitch. Now, to accurately book equipment in the warehouse, you want to obviously make sure that it's serialized. On top of these serial, layers, uh, on top of these serial numbers, you want to assign dedicated QR codes. For this, I will now move from this view to the left side, where I have a flight case and one of my items. Now, as I just mentioned, uh, the first step would be, for example, QR codes or barcodes, whereas the next step might be all the way to our RFID. Now, I'm going to show you right now how you can do it with QR codes. QR codes can be scanned by using a dedicated scanner. That could be, for example, as Mitch also mentioned, a Zebra scanner that he uses already in his warehouse. But it could be as simple as just using your mobile device. That could be an Android device, iOS device, it does not matter. As long as you have a working phone with internet connection, you're pretty much ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and now share the screen from my phone to show you how easy it is to just go ahead and scan a QR code while in the warehouse. If you just bear with me for a second. Pretty much I am on my, on, my, on my phone right now. My phone right now, I'm booking a, a project. That project right now, we can see we have a packing slip here. I hope you can see it. And here we have the packing slip. Right now, we could simply just click here on the arrow to book or therefore move equipment from status to status in the warehouse. That status being, for example, prepped, directly booking to on location, and at one point booking this hopefully fully returned. Now, instead of clicking the arrow, which might not be very accurate, we can use the integrated scanning function that you have in the Redman app. And as, as soon as I click here on something, you will find that it now is going to search for QR codes. And if I take, for example, my item that I have here that I want to scan, and then therefore proceed to, for example, scan the QR code, you might notice that it had, has indeed been detected, a message popped up, and therefore confirmed that it has been scanned and therefore moved the dedicated serial number of that QR code slash the item on to its next status, which on my end was being prepped. Now, that was the QR code set of things. Now, as Mitch mentioned, there's a lot of exciting new things coming into Rentman. One of those being RFID. We've already showcased it, and more importantly, every minute, thousands of uh, RFID chips and tags are being scanned in Rentman right now by our users. How this works is, we have, for example, this flight case. This flight case, if I just quickly open it up, includes 93 different items that all have an RFID chip and tag attached to it. That can, for example, be these cables, which have these attached to it and any other item. Now, if you want to go ahead and actually scan these, you do need or require a Zebra scanner. That Zebra scanner comes with this handheld adapter that you might want to make use of. In order to now go ahead and actually scan the RFID chips, you want to go ahead and go into your project, which I'm doing right now, same process as you would do with the Remnant app. On the phone, for example, you go into your project, which can then, for example, like this. Right now, we are on the booking slip slash the digital packing slip. And we now, instead of going ahead and scanning the QR codes, we want to scan the RFID chips. For this, we have two dedicated buttons. The first one being for RFID and the second one being for the QR codes or barcodes, if you like. If I now just go ahead and just basically activate the scanning and then hover, for example, over, the, over it, just like this, you might notice a signal by the green light and also by the sound. This is when every time it appears, it's scanning a new RFID chip or tag. And as of right now, I already scanned 93 different RFID tags and chips, which is pretty much all of them in this flight case. You could also do this by having it closed, but as of right now, we are already, already pretty much done with it. QR codes already give you accuracy when scanning serialized items. This, on the other hand, increases speediness and efficiency when in the warehouse. Now, I will go back to my main screen. 
because we're pretty much done with this end. Now this was on how to track your equipment by scanning it, either the serialized equipment or bulk equipment. Um, that you could use different methods. This could be QR codes, barcodes, or also, as I just showed you, the speediness of RFID. Now, next, not on to our next topic, which is the issue of double booking, which you probably might have already run into as well. This can be a result of not knowing exactly what is available and when items are actually returning. For this, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen inside Rentman. All right, here we are in my personal Rentman account. Right now, we're looking at different items. Now, you might have different um, reasons why you might want to check up on the availability of your equipment. First reason could be, for example, you very, very quickly need to know if there's enough equipment avail available for some of the items because you're getting a phone call or you have, for example, a request coming in. You have two methods. One very quick one, which is, for example, clicking here on the top right, checking availability of your equipment, which is basically a quick search. Well, so what you can do is you can just simply search for the item you're dealing with, click on it, and we can immediately see per warehouse, also for example here our storage location, the venue, how much is available, for example for today, or any other time period I might be selecting here. Now, this is not a very detailed overview, but just a very quick one. On the other hand, if you do need a very uh, detailed overview because you want to know exactly what's going on and therefore track your stock, you might want to select either one or multiple items at the same time. For example, our CDG 3000 that I've now selected and opening a timeline. This will give me a very detailed overview, which I can either put like this or immediately in full screen. We can see, for example, right now, looking at multiple warehouses as well, the availability. The availability is the line on the top. This will change according to what is happening. This could be, for example, projects being planned, as we can see here right now in this line, two projects planned here with a certain quantity. Here, another project also having the project in a certain status. We can see if it's uh, equipment out of our own stock or if we sub-branded some of them. And here, for example, later at a later stage, we find that this item also has a repair going on, which is something you can also obviously manage from the warehouse aspects. Now, on the other hand, and this is one of the new features, so thank you everybody for joining, um, we don't just have the equipment, obviously, we also have the serial number aspect. So what we're looking at here right now is the different serial numbers that we can also nowadays track in Rentman, also with the um, content status behind that. What that means is we have, for example, here a tape rack, and that tape rack can include different items inside of it. And there you have planned content and extra content. And depending on what is happening in the warehouse, the actual content of, of the tape rack might change according to if, for example, something gets taken out or something gets added into it. Or if, for example, one of the items inside this tape rack uh, gets put into repair, and then therefore the content status, so what is actually inside of it, will change accordingly. This could be complete if, for example, everything is as, as it is in a planned content. If, for example, extras have been added, um, or if, for example, one of them is incomplete. Why is this tape rack, for example, here incomplete? That is because, for example, one of them is in repair. So the status here in the, on the right side in the details will let you know everything you need to know. If it's in repair, where exactly it's located, if it's planned for any projects, and anything else you might need to know right away. And if, for example, double click here on the first tape rack, here we can then immediately also see the actual content with all of them having the individual status as well, which and therefore also uh, will have the serialized, uh, can be serialized and also have its QR code or for example, RFID chip attached to them as well. Right, on to the next topic. The next topic is preventing packing mistakes. Now, while this was all about uh, how you can make sure your equipment is set up correctly, how you can track it. Now we want to focus on how we can actually avoid making any mistakes while in the warehouse. For this, we're going to jump into the warehouse module of Rentman by clicking here. Right now, we're looking at the transport and schedule crew, which we can also minimize. 
Here you can also filter down by which warehouse we're dealing with. So you might be located in the Eastern warehouse where my different projects could be displayed compared to, for example, the Western warehouse. And then down here below, we can find all the projects we're looking at right now. All of my projects that we're looking at right now find themselves in a certain status. If, as soon as you, for example, quoted a client already, the status of a project will go into confirmed. From there on out, you want to take care of the next steps from the warehouse perspective. Right now, we find, for example, two projects here in confirmed. And what we basically want to do is we want to move the equipment that is inside the project and the project itself uh, from status confirmed onto the next status. That status could be, for example, prepped. So we prepped all of the equipment and therefore we want to also confirm it by moving the equipment to status prepped. We can also move directly to on location, but what you can also do is nowadays in Rentman, you can also add your custom statuses. So if you believe there's something here within terms of the workflows, uh, how your workhouse operates, where you pretty much uh, require some more statuses, that's also a possibility. For that, I added, for example, a status here at the end, which is checkup. So before I confirm my equipment being returned to the warehouse, after it was on location, I first put it into the status of a checkup. So I want to check up on my equipment before I book it back as a return and therefore make it available again and, and potentially mark some equipment as lost as, or put it in repair or make, maybe focus on some inspections. If equipment, for example, is expected back, and it does not return on time, as Mitch already mentioned, it will go into the status of being delayed and the responsible people will receive a notification about this to take care of the next steps. Talking about responsible people, with every project that you will find in the wells, you can also make sure to assign a very specific or multiple crew members to take care of very specific projects. Like now, for example, I can select this one and then therefore go ahead and assign the correct people to take care of it. Next to it, you can create a document. That could be, for example, a packing slip. But we wouldn't be rent if we try to ease up that process as well. Instead of working with pen and paper, you can also go ahead and actually click here on book to land in a digital packing slip. Right now, what we're looking at, for example, is our project, which will find itself in status confirmed and we now want to book it into the next status. So you decide here on the next status, and this is what I... That was our ring bell. Uh, we, are, um, we have some guests, <laughs> so you can ignore that. Uh, as I mentioned before, this is what I pretty much showed you uh, with, with, on my phone or for example, the scanning device. This is the digital packing slip where we have the different equipment here, for example, inside of a kit. Uh, it can be sterilized, for example, and instead of using this arrow, which might result in issues uh, because someone like, accidentally clicks on it, you can also disable this and instead of focusing on QR code, barcode, RFID scanning, which will then, as I mentioned before, move the equipment from status on the left side, confirmed, to this now the status of, for example, booking into on location, which confirms that this equipment has indeed left the warehouse and is now on the location that we have added to our project planning process. Right, um, next to that, what might be important to mention as well, if you have somebody in the warehouse who might not be familiar what this DJ kit looks like, so they might be running around, spending time, wasting it, really looking for it, they can always also in the app click here, show the image and know exactly what they're dealing with. If, of course, that item actually had an image to show, uh, which mine unfortunately don't, but yes, that is definitely a function that we also do provide. Uh, next to that, we have the location and the warehouse, which you can find here. We also have here internal notes that you can work with to let anybody know what they might be aware of when uh, taking care of this equipment. Right. Um, this was how it works. As soon as you're done booking your equipment, you will pretty much also move the project status from being confirmed to whatever status you've been dealing with. And here is also where the communication part comes into play. When done booking equipment, you might want to leave a note from the warehouse, which will then also be displayed in the project where the account manager can then take care of the next of the rest and see what has been done. For example, mentioning that everything has indeed left the warehouse accordingly. When booking equipment back, as I mentioned before, for example, this project right here, it is also important to mention that if something, for example, does not come back, it can be marked as lost, or if something, for example, uh, is somewhat damaged when it returns, you can also create a whole report about it being defective. And in the app, for example, you can upload screenshots 
and make sure that those uh, aspects are also covered as well so you can immediately take care and track it accordingly. Also worth it to mention, this is not the only overview. We also offer, for example, a list. So pretty much anywhere in Rentman, um, there's different overviews according to what you like. And you can set this up per user, so every individual user can have their own overviews. And you can also completely customize these here as well. Click on details, customize the columns, and so on. That is pretty much it from my end. Now, um, as interesting as this was, it's going to get even better. I'm now gonna give over to Eva, who's our product owner here at Rentman, and she's gonna tell you all about the new exciting features that are coming up in the next year. Hello, Mark. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> you. Okay, hi, guys. Um, my name is Eva, and um, um, I hope I will not take much time because uh, you don't see, but their actually marketing team is behind these cameras and they're like speeding us up. Um, yeah, and gives us different tips of what we should do. I hope, uh, yes. So um, every time when somebody uh, gives me a spotlight of sharing something that is upcoming in Rentman, I'm the one who is uh, spending 30 minutes of uh, excitingly sharing uh, different features and uh, um, different small improvements that were released or planning to release. Um, and uh, today I will give you a very uh, small sneak peek of something big that is coming out in 2024. So um, first of all, I want to share like three main topics that should become our part of our mission in Renman 2024. We believe that software should become very flexible, like flexible enough to stop limiting you of doing what you actually plan to do. Another visitor here will also, by the way, uh, making everything in our office. So uh, this is why you see their bar stand and some uh, beer tab. And now uh, we still don't know how to figure out how to turn off the ring bell. Um, so yeah, one more time, three main topics that um, should be a part of our mission, we believe, in 2024. It's flexible software, so it's not limiting you in uh, doing what you actually want to do in real life in warehouse. And um, we want also this software to be very simple, so you don't have to spend like 24 hours to just reading different information and tips on how to set up something. And uh, of course, we want to enrich you with more data because it, lots of stuff happening in warehouse. You are not just you just moving. It sounds very simple. You're just moving equipment, but it's it's everywhere. It's uh, marked in repair. Something goes to uh, inspections. Something just inventorized. We want to give you a hub spot, like an information in one place of what has happened, what is happening right now, and what will happen next with your equipment. So, in other words, we released already a lot. And uh, we did also nearly, I think, 100 interviews with 100 customers through the year, not only using Rentman, but also using other, other, other software. And we figured out that there is like one topic that goes through, joins all of the feedback that we get in, is that people sometimes end up with really poor tracking and uh, non very efficient tracking when they need to do lots of workarounds in existing software. Um, these workarounds are based on their like decisions that they made like two years ago when they just set up equipment and they didn't know that it actually will end up like this for them. And then it ends up with lots of sticky surround with additional task comments. They can't gather all information together in the end and you don't have transparency in where is your your gear is actually located. So we decided that we don't want to limit you anymore. So it's your gear, so it should be basically your rules in how you set it up, in how you want to see it in quotation, in how you want to plan it, in how you want to track it. So, and Rampman will just play by your rules in, in, at this point and keep your back and uh, have all the traces gathered in one, in one place. So, um, uh, some of our, if there are some users who are already our users in this webinar, you already seen probably first steps that we introduced in our software. We call it new equipment types and uh, we already uh, um, give a release this very first uh, functionality in it. But today I also want to share what is coming next. Um, I will uh, show my screen. It will appear right now uh, here for you as well. And um, Yes, um, as you see, all the rules um, of how you set up equipment 
are basically not anymore in some process that you have just to select in the very beginning. We're not asking you saying like, oh, it will be for forever a flight case. Oh, it will be for forever a um, kit. Oh, it will be for forever a virtual combination. No, you uh, right now set up equipment as you do it and how you describe it actually in real life. Is it virtual? Is it physical? Does it have content right now? Will it have content further? Is some equipment should be fixed for forever inside? Is some equipment is mandatory for this combination? Is equipment can be taken out randomly and rented out separately. So all of this right now in your hands, this is your rules, this is what you set up. And uh, you already seen some of this when Mark, my colleague before, was presenting it. We also enriched uh, different views in Rendman with additional information, giving you also um, additional insights if something is going wrong. So we're playing by your rules, but at the same time, we're showing you if something can go wrong. And it's not only in different views, it's also in the booking screen. So if suddenly you scan one of the combinations that returned five days ago and you didn't have time, sometimes it happened, you didn't have time to uh, fix it fully, to uh, put back the um, item that just got back from external repair, you will see it. Your guys will see it in the booking screen. They will be immediately um, notified about it, saying like, oh, there is actually something that's incomplete and uh, you can fix it. And this is just one example. There is way more stuff coming in. You can fix it after it. You will be the one deciding if you want to fix it or like you will be the one responsible for doing it. Um, so it's just, again, it's just a small sneak peek. There is more coming um, and uh, we're still doing lots of uh, beta testing of this feature. So if you will give it a trial and become our customer, you also will be involved into it and can go through it and check it out how to apply to your, um, to your flows right now. And with this feature, of course, you can do lots of stuff. You can put case into case, flight case into flight case, remove some stuff, put additional stuff. We, of course, will be notified about what's happening, but you probably want to see in one place what's happening with specific equipment, just to be sure that everything is great, that there is no additional work coming in next week, or there is not loss of shortages suddenly of very expensive equipment. And uh, we decided that in this case, we can just give you a very transparent view of what is happening with specific items. So there is no need to go through all the views. There's like 35 different views, other views in Redmond that you can go and check in uh, more details and information. But we just give you a complete overview of everything that's happening with specific equipment in just one place. Where is it? Is it in shortage? Uh, what customers are delaying it? Uh, is something in repair and should be prepared ASAP because it is not usable anymore. Just go to this one place, get all the information, create additional tasks if you need to uh, give a heads up to warehouse guys to speed up in repairs, for example, or your maintenance department. Just do it everything from just this view. So those are just some spoilers. Again, um, you can become our customer and just check it out yourself. Just uh, give it a try. And uh, it's something that we will um, focus on in 2024, more stuff, of course, coming. Um, and um, yeah, um, also, one last thing. Um, it's something that we're focusing on, I think, in the, like the next big features that we're focusing on. But of course, we're a very open company in like um, showing what our next big steps. So you can always go to our Product roadmap, it's very public. You can go there and uh, investigate what are other big features that are coming in, and you can give us feedback. Also get enrolled in additional beta or interviews with us. So uh, yeah, here you can find more insights of what's coming in in 2024. It should be a very exciting year for us as well, and um, I hope I didn't talk very, very fast and you were able to take some screenshots. And um, I think for now it's a wrap. And uh, thanks for attending everyone. Um, 
this, everything that was happening today, it will be, it is actually recorded right now. It will be sent to you. So you will be able to rewatch it, um, zoom in, do some screenshots, uh, text to us. If you're very interested, oh, just interested to check out further and uh, test it, just create a trial. Renman allows you to just create a trial. We didn't need you to pay for it. Just create it and try it out. And then um, ask questions, our sales team, support team, anybody, um, we're free to answer these questions. We're free to continue getting feedback, answering your questions. So I hope in 2024, all these features, you will be able to try out. You will be glad to start with them, reducing chaos happening in warehouse. So uh, thanks. Thank you. And uh, see you next time.